Wave Squadron reporting in. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are back with the second episode this week of Bad Batch. Last time was really good. Mm-hmm. Infiltration. Mm-hmm. We saw one of them Shadow Trooper guys coming in to Rex's uh, mm-hmm. facility. Yep. Mm-hmm. And things got blown up. And there's a recovery team to come and get Omega. So things yeah. are not good. No. And we trust Crosshair. You unconditional. One of those troopers was like, if you want answers, why don't you ask him? Why do you say that, Eric? To so doubt. Is that what he did? He didn't yes. say anything for so long. When he recognized him, why did he recognize him? I think they were why? Put, they were put through the program side by side. <sighs> and but he I... survived and made it through. And Crosshair was or not finished Crosshair yet. was giving a very special... If Crosshair finish. really was undercover... Why would that shadow out him if yeah. he's not, like, yeah. also, like, fuck those guys, right? Yeah, exactly. We need to specifically, we need to trust these men who yeah. were designed to do what they're told. <laughs> <laughs> who benefits? <Okay. laughs> who benefits from him outing them? Yeah. He does because he's sowing dissent among their ranks, right? Just start. Uh, don't convince me. No, don't be alive. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Is Fireball dead? Oh, well, if he's not dead. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> Stratagem call downs are blocked. <laughs> Damn. He's walking like the Terminator. Wolf is coming. Is there another way off this spire? There's always another way. A hole straight down. <laughs> ladder. Okay, cool. Wait, yeah, but the dog can't the dog. use that. <laughs> Maybe he can. Maybe he's creative. <laughs> Maybe it's not really deep. Like it's not like a snake eater ladder. Cats can use ladders. Maybe it's Dogs ladder. can use ladders too. They just. They need to practice a lot. I saw a video where a dog was driving a car. Might have been fake. But... That's where the Rancor would go uh, if I had a Rancor. Damn. No, the purple trooper. These are clones. They're not insurgents. They are both. <sighs> Good. Wolf doesn't seem too. I neutralized most of their rank cell, but the rest are trapped inside with the target. What squadron are you with? That's classified. Want to tell me why this spire is burning when our primary objective is to retrieve the target unharmed? The girl is alive. I'm now in charge of this operation. You answer to me. Is that clear? (sighs) Hilo. Set blasters to stun and move in. Hilo, huh? Oh, yeah. They're coming. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Come on, Crosshair, be a better shot. He's trying. 50%. They say you 50%. come out different. Hey, wait, is that one of his uh, reflector mirror things? Oh, cool! <laughs> like, you can't hit him directly, but... You don't need to be accurate with bombs. <laughs> Dang, Crosshair, come on. I want him to get better. A lot of being a really good sniper isn't necessarily the steadiest hand. Patience, right? It's Steady like, hand is really important, yeah, though. I think it's like 50%. <laughs> you just got to shoot twice. I think steady hands at any shooting is important. Watch Blade and Zaps. Now with a Uzi. <laughs> no helps, or else it's worse. It's like a weird little falcon. Yeah. <laughs> no, the engine. Oh. Man, he shot all of them. They probably don't have shields, too, right? Mm-hmm. Hopefully, they land near his uh, his shuttle.
I mean, you can steal the, the Shadow Troopers. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know where that is. I don't know how much space it has. Our orders are to retrieve the girl alive and unharmed. Their vessel crashed in the upper jungle region. Get the shuttles in the air. This isn't over. Stun him. Right? Put him in the brig. Leave him, Upper, he leave him here. Uppercut him. I mean, electroshocks himself. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? You got. Oh, God. Well, why does he get to go first? He probably didn't ask permission. I wouldn't even opened his door. He probably opened it for himself. <clears throat> I got his not work as part of a team. Oh man, is that Nemec in the back? I think so. Yeah, Nemec with the helmet. Yeah, I bet he's gonna get shot. I bet he's gonna blow up. He's in the back of the group, you know. And he's, they're gonna be chased. What happened to Fireball? Well, Rick, you wanted to blow stuff up. Ooh. Okay. Uh, okay. They're not. The good guys are. Dude, that crossbow looks so cool activated. <laughs> Crosshair is really sticking close to Omega. Uh -huh. The target of the Empire. Uh-huh. Just saying. What are you saying? He's really wanting to protect her, I guess. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah. That seemed to be better shooting. That was, right that was better, yeah. He is. Did you get Clone Force 99 and Rex? How much further to the landing center? Just ahead. Almost there. Some of the best soldiers of the Clone Wars, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Who was that? I think it was Namek. Yeah, it had to be, right? It's only flown out. Really, no. Omega smoke grenade. We're out. Dang. You better be a better sniper. I'll draw his fire. Get to the enemy gates. I don't like that idea. Too bad. Too bad. It's like fighting uh, the end, Rick. Mm hmm. You just wait. Oop, nicked him. Oh, the water! No! no. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Okay, it's not that long. They're wearing helmets. It's still a waterfall, it's not great. That's uh, a big Is that another one. waterfall? Oh, he lost his helmet. Yeah. Bolt caster bolt. Stun. Hauser. Stun is probably a death sentence. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the kind of water vials we were looking for. That's yeah. yeah. Me, Rex. Let's be friends again. Falcon Blaster, down! Wolf. Rex. Hang 
I can talk my way out of this one. <laughs> I, I thought you were dead. The report said you were killed in action. That you went down aboard an attack cruiser. Yeah. Well, I mm -hmm. did. I lost a lot of good men that day. And today. What are you doing here, Rex? Don't tell me you're fighting against us. Now, not against you. Against the Empire. They're imprisoning and experimenting on our brothers. Killed others. The Empire wouldn't do that to us. She has seen it. It's true. It's what's happening on Tantus. You can stand with us. I am a soldier of the Empire. As your brother, I'm asking you to do the right thing. He's pulling right up. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Who's that? Gregor. Gregor. With the big backpack? Yeah, because he's a commando, right? Yeah, All you're right. He's an arc. Is. Yeah. Commando. Stand down. Yes. Where all those troopers think. Yeah, right? Like, is Hilo involved with Hemlock and stuff at all? Like, Scorches? Recover their fallen. Then we move out. But, sir, they're traitors. Perhaps. But they're clones. <clears throat> we owe them that. Yeah. Good. I was worried Wolf was gonna just be bad, you know? I feel like he's like Cody still on the other side, you know? He's like, sure. I believe this is where I'm supposed to be, but... Son that guy's not bitch. dead! <laughs> Damn it, man! <laughs> he wore a helmet. I hope more of his shit doesn't work. Ah. <laughs> I hope he gets a squeak in his helmet every time he turns his head. <laughs> you need to find out why she's so important to them. Three people did voices. In I don't. I never. I don't ever think about that when I'm watching this. I'm never thinking that I it's know. a cast of three, right? No. Man, D. Bradley Baker does a whole show of twenty people on his own. <laughs> Good for him. He has before. I mean, he's, he's done entire episodes by himself. I mean, look, you know, you can. I'm hoping he's getting paid, but you can put a lot of your budget into other stuff. Sure. <laughs> you don't have to have this crazy huge. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a uh, in the idea of paying like. If you paid someone to do this role, mm -hmm. but then like, I assume it's not the same for each one, right? It's kind of like a... It, it's really about the time that you spend. Yeah, recording. I guess that's true. How many hours yeah. do you spend that's doing That's why they'll have like, this? you know, sometimes we have a, uh, a commando droid, or not commando droid, but a... Voice by like James Arnold Taylor or yeah. something like that. Yeah, or like, Ashley Eckstein will do like a one of the droids. Droid. Yeah, tactical, tactical droids, droid. exactly. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, well, we already paid for you to be here. You want to do a couple more lines? I mean, yeah, we'll just you know. have you read these ones as I well. mean, David Collins, I mean, yes, he does a lot of good work, and he's been, like, proxy in the Force Unleashed and stuff, but he generally is one of the sound mixer guys, right? So he's working on the sound thing, and he's like, ah, I mean, I'll just go record the Stormtrooper line real quick. They throw it in there, yeah. you know? That happens so much. Like, when they're doing Rogue One and they need something, he just well, goes like, and, like, he calls Sam Whitworth, hey, you want to come over and do some lines? You know, and Sam, they put up a little, you know, the recording studio, and they have Sam do, like, open fire, those type of things. And that ends up being, like, the rebel that Vader is trying to kill in Rogue One, yeah. you know, which is an iconic part. So just quote there in there. Uh, I don't, I, uh, I hate that you made me doubt. There was a part where I was like, 
he does stick close to her. But there's a reason, you know? <laughs> no, that's Because she stuck close to him. Yes. Yeah. No, it's I, like him I, trying it's to... It's the loyalty. I think it's him trying to, like, pay her back for getting him out. Mm-hmm. Like, he would not have escaped without her. No. And, but yeah. she would not give up on him either. Loyalty either, goes both right? ways. So yeah. she's, yeah. It's that loyalty he's talking about where he wants to be there and protect her yeah, as much exactly. as she was willing to sacrifice for him. Mm-hmm. Which I like that a lot. I also like... Um, Hunter talking to Rex there at the end and being like, you can't beat the Empire here. They're too strong. And Rex is like, I gotta try. Mm-hmm. And like the canon, I believe, now is him all the way up into Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. is, like, he has been fighting this war since the Clone Wars. He ages rapidly, so he's really old by then. But it's just crazy to think that, like, he keeps he gets fighting. A, I guess he gets a little break. He takes a fishing trip, you know? Sure. <laughs> but he... He keeps fighting to fight this empire, and I was like, "Man, it's just yeah. crazy that that's like he goes all the way with this, you know." Empire he built. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, even though he wasn't, he wasn't a part of starting it. Yeah. He was there. Yeah, he also. But like just... that conversation of like, I thought when the war ended, we stopped losing brothers, but now we're losing more. You know, I was like, oh. he just he also just hasn't ever up to this point not been a fighter. Sure. Yeah, that's way. That's what he does. That's what he knows. It's how he solves his problems. Sure. Yeah. It just. It's. It's weird to think about. Like when you see him in the future, and the first time he comes out, he's like, yeah. "Hey, you know," and he looks like happy. <laughs> he's like not been fighting. He's just on a fishing trip with his buddies. Yeah. You know. Sure. Oh man. It's like he's one of the older ones. <clears throat> like once he dies, or the last of them dies, and that's it, right? They don't reproduce or anything. No. Um. No. I don't think we've ever seen. I don't know if they can reproduce at all. I don't, well, I think that we had moved of them, right? That that was other kids, right? The Twilight, Cut Lorraine, Cut. Yeah, like those weren't his kids. No, with the with the Twilight on yeah. the farm. Yeah. Is yeah. that what you're gonna say? Well, I was wondering it because I I figured because of the timeline they were older than they would have been if he had because the Clone yeah. Wars weren't that long. They, yeah, they were older than the they Clone Wars. Anymore. But if like after that, if could they have had? Because Boba could have kids. He's unaltered. Right? He's unaltered. Yeah. I don't know what they... With the other clones, I don't think they allowed that. But also, like, you know, it was just a bunch of men in these barracks. Like, there probably wasn't a lot of time for them to attempt to try to have kids. But sure. I don't think we have any evidence of them ever having kids. Not that I know of. I don't think. I feel yeah, like we probably had, wouldn't want that. Yeah. Like, I feel like we had a line. to leave or yeah, anything. Right. It'd be like a, a Genghis Khan thing <laughs> if, yeah. like, a bunch of these clones had kids. They probably would have had that removed, I imagine, because I, they're essentially, like, battle droids to where it's like we're making them to fight this war. Yeah. After that, I, we don't care. So, like, we don't need them to have kids. We don't need this or that. Yeah. I feel like we've had a line somewhere where they've talked, like, you know, our only purpose is to fight. You know, we can't have kids. You know, we can't have, fam- can't have families or something like that. No. <laughs> not... Definitely not thinking of that. <laughs> but I'm just I'm glad that whenever uh, Wolf is talking about with Rex, like when they have their standoff, and it's like, look, well, you're, you're hunting a child, you know. I'm just glad that she didn't do her normal like, I'm older than you. <laughs> yeah, that she likes to do. <laughs> that would not have been. The do case. not undercut my point. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I mean, you know, the other gunship had some of the the nor- new stormtroopers in them, but this one didn't. This one was all clones. Mm-hmm. So when he said like they're clones, we have to give them that benefit. They're of the fallen. Doubt. Like yeah, yeah, they're fallen. Like every single guy there was also a clone. Just thought that was really nice. Sure, you know? I was glad to see that. Like I was worried at the end of the last episode yeah. when Wolf turned around, but then him coming out and being like. These are clones. Yeah. They said they were resurgence or you know, whatever. Insurgents. Insurgents. Yeah. They're both. Yeah. So, like, I'm, I'm glad that Wolf... It feels more like if Cody was here mm-hmm. and that was him, he would be like, these are clones. Yeah. Why are we fighting them? Mm-hmm. And then here at this little meeting thing, I'm glad that it was, like, a conversation, stand down. And I was worried about Hilo. Yeah. Because, like, Scorch, I feel like if Scorch was there, Scorch would have just been like, open fire, here's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Because he's involved with Hemlock, whereas Hilo, maybe not. Maybe they just trained them and then sent them out to kind of help work with, I don't know. I just think, theoretically, with a scene like that, no matter where you go in the Empire right now, that means that you possibly have sympathetic soldiers on your side. Well, sure. Maybe, if you can give them the right words, you know? Yeah, but once you get rid of all the clones... That's what Project War Mantle is. None of those clones are going to care about the other clones. No. Because they're stormtroopers. They're just people, and they're like, ah, you guys have been... 
you're the enemy now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's not the brotherhood to guide them through anymore. Is this assassin the most resilient unnamed character in Star Wars? He's certainly one of the most effective Imperial agents we've ever seen. <laughs> um, I'd put him up there with uh, Callus. Callus sure. is pretty effective, too. You said unnamed? Unnamed. Mm. So the said, problem, like, the I'm problem trying with trying that to think in my head, like, who has taken the most damage and all that kind of stuff, but still keeps on trucking, you know? Yeah. That's probably Anakin. Anakin's taken a bunch. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, traitor, <laughs> you know, that guy. That guy's pretty, pretty good. Mm. But is order. he resilient? I mean... He fought against. I mean, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. The only reason he he didn't have a he rematch lost is that Han shot him with a bowcaster. Sure, and he went flying. But he didn't have a rematch. <laughs> I know you're right. No, this this guy's better, definitely. Yeah. You, do you have any? I mean, he didn't really have any markings. They didn't. They you know they saw his face, but they didn't recognize him or anything. I just was slightly wondering, like this, even could be a clone that we know, but they're different now. Well, yeah, you know? could easily be a clone that we know. I, I don't know if he still remembers his. Well, he name. wouldn't. I bet sure. he doesn't. This guy that he was fighting. Yeah. With, yeah, we didn't see his face at all either, so it could be anybody really. We saw the other guy's face, mm-hmm. right? I don't mm-hmm. think we saw this guy's face. Which guy? The shadow guy. Are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, but we didn't see his face. Right? When he was captured, they had his helmet off. Not no, this guy. No, this, this is the, the guy that killed guy. him. This guy killed that guy. There oh, okay. Two shadows. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Bad. So, yeah, so but, I mean, they all have the same yeah, yeah. face. So, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess well, some of them have certain identifying markers, sure. tattoos. Sure, I figure they would only take those that didn't have yeah. identifying markers and tattoos and or stuff. Or them. Sure. Who was the guy that had, or like, that, the yeah. imperial type of cog the thing? The cog? Like, yeah. over his face here? Uh, that was Jesse. Jesse? Yeah. Yeah, like, that guy. Like, if you had him as one of them, like, yeah. I guess it's more identifiable yeah. than just nothing you shave sure, your hair, you know? Sure. But like you know, there's a lot of clones that we don't know their ultimate fate. Like Jesse, we know that he was buried, yeah, uh, by Rex. But that could be an interesting thing too. Um, like you say, his unnamed, but he could be named. What about uh, what's his name? Oppo. 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 Yeah. Like yeah. with the arrow. He was there on Coruscant, but I don't know what happened to him later. You know, we did see here Hauser, which is cool. Like yeah. I, I like that having his inclusion here, especially after his episode with. Trying to protect, uh, was it Ryloth, I think? Ryloth. And just going through that. And then his, I was curious on if they were going to cross, the, or talk more about Crosshair, because that one there was, the Bad Batch came in, Crosshair was on the other side trying to take shots and kill people. Yeah. And Hauser, especially, I think would have had that issue with Crosshair. So I'm glad that they kind of covered that, and I like him, I like him like noticing the Omega thing, like, oh, you with that See kid, how you are with the different. kid, yeah. And then him being there and being the one that shoots the, the other Operative. trooper. Yeah, I, I like that. Like he saved Crosshair, yeah. where he was kind of like we should give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> and before I loved their like knife fight in the shallow water <clears throat> scene. You know, you mentioned Black Panther, you mentioned Prince of Thieves, and I thought of both those movies <laughs> while it was happening. But yeah, I also kind of thought of um, uh, what's that. Tommy Lee Jones movie Under Siege no, no. with the knife um, fight the Hunt. fugitive no no he's Hunter. he's talking about uh, Benicio Del Toro like they had this yes. awesome knife fight oh uh, it's not cool. Steven Seagal and Tommy no, Lee Jones not, they have a knife fight about, he's not talking about that one stop talking about that one not stop bringing the Revenant, it up right no no that's uh it has some of the best knife choreography I've ever seen oh is it the western no no it's not a western it's like two survival guys fighting with a knife in the woods Oh, I know what you're talking. Okay, about. it's not the one where they. Caramel it's the uh, where he's a trapper. It's not that one then. Tommy Lee Grit. Jones knife fight. Surely that will get me there, right? Like under Siege too. Under Siege. The Hunted. The Hunted. The Hunted. Yeah. Is what it was. It was like anyway, the Hunter sounds check right. Check out that yeah. fight from The did, Hunted. It's one of the best. Did Under Siege show up? Uh, was it there too when you typed that in? No. No. The hunted, the hunted, knife expert breaks down, the hunted, the hunted. All right. I just wondered. That's the only reason he did that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so when you Google Tommy Lee Jones knife fight, that shows up instead. <laughs> uh, it's the whole reason they did Lego Holiday Special. Wait. I went really far down and find Geico commercial. Steven Seagal versus Tommy Lee Jones in knife fight. Oh, my gosh. Geico so, commercial. I don't know. That's what? Why I don't want to click okay. It. I don't, don't click it. It's a trap. That's for sure. Yep. B. <clears throat> yep. I can't uh, believe that guy's not dead. My golly. Like, Rick, you're right. It's, like, this guy. I mean, they're different. Maybe they have... He was little... blown up, buried, shot, 
thrown off a couple waterfalls. Only I, one of them can kill another. It's like a Highlander. I believe it, <laughs> I believe it more that it, if you go off of a waterfall that you would survive because it's a deep pool, so mm-hmm. you're not going to hit the bottom. Uh, Wasn't the water, he stunned, though? He was stunned. He wasn't yeah. shot. He was stunned. He, he was stunned. stunned. So he'd be unconscious. He was in his armor. Um, the water would be heavily aerated because of the the splashing. So it's going to be a softer impact than still water. And because you're not fighting it, your body's limp, and maybe that helps? And yeah. Maybe you would survive and rather your, than having your body tense their, up. And Their armor can sometimes withstand the vacuum of space for a bit, so maybe it can still breathe in the I would say he probably has some respiration <clears throat> in there. Yeah. Just... Damn, I, just I really think it would have been at a little damage by being crushed by all those rocks. I mean, it, his arm was. Yeah. His arm, just, his arm and his leg were hurting. He was limping. I just really wanted that guy dead. <laughs> yeah. Surely yeah. he will die. I mean, he, he must. Do you guys think that Wolf uh, investigates Tantus? Like, does he look into that more? Like, it, it would be great if the we, rumor gets out and a bunch of clones like go there and start. Do you think Wolf replaces like the crosshair aspect that we had in this show, to where like we start seeing maybe more Wolf in the show as it? So we can have an imperial cool. point yeah. of view. Like we don't really follow Echo Rex like any of them anymore. We usually just kind of follow the Bad Batch. Yeah. yeah. But like that would be a little different if we You're saw right. like what yeah. Wolf's doing on the. I feel imperial like they side. would need to enroll him into the Bad Batch for us to follow. Him. See, Echo is enrolled, and we don't follow him. Yeah. I suppose that's true, but we've only followed a member of the Bad Batch. Mm. Yeah, true. I suppose. Like Crosshair, Omega. Weird. Although Crosshair... Echo went with Rex, but you didn't see that. Crosshair Sorry. didn't say he was a member of the Bad Batch. Just, when we followed him. Yeah, I know. So, Echo... I, I don't think he's, like, divorced himself of the Bad Batch. He's just helping Rex now. Mm. So we shouldn't not be following him. But there's no base for Rex... Which means I hope that if we go to Pabu or wherever we go, like for the next few episodes at least, we'll just have like the whole group. We'll have Hauser, we'll have Rex, we'll have yeah. Gregor. Yeah. You know, that'd be, I think that'd be fun to see like everybody kind of together working. And Hunter needs to figure out what's going on with Omega so that she can be safe. Saying we need a beach episode? No, not a beach. It could be the best thing we've ever seen, and it could be the worst thing we've ever seen because that could be a lot of valuable people that I really like all in one spot. The well, season sure, two and I only know the fate of like episode. two or three of them. <laughs> what, Calvin? I said the season two premiere was a beach episode. Yeah, it was. They were present at the beach with the giant crabs. <laughs> with the crab giant crabs. crabs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. And we had another one later on when the water was coming. Yeah. The tsunami thing. <sighs> all right. I don't have anything else, I think. Me either. We need a poll for this series of episodes. I think next week is also a double episode, right? Mm. Is it? Am I wrong about that? I thought it was later. It might be. Either way, we need a poll. Guys, poll for this week. Uh, we have some talk about Crosshair, having seen him be kind of, I guess, outed by one of the Shadow Trooper dudes, uh, covering Omega and being real close to her, going hand-to-hand against the one guy who also just said, you could have been one of us and you're not. Is there any chance, and do you have any doubt, of Crosshair's loyalty to the Bad Batch? So no. the, the so it's I have any doubt I have no doubt I have no is that doubt what it is? I have, yeah <laughs> you have a little doubt you could have no doubt you have a ninety nine percent chance that I have no doubt <laughs> it's a little I don't know I have no doubt um I'm I have less doubt about that than I do Tech being alive so you think it's more likely that Tech's alive than Crosshair's bad is that what you're saying other way around you think it's more likely that Crosshair's bad than Tech's alive yes. Oh. All right, I, I think I might go the other way. Like, I might, if I have any doubt for Crosshair, I think I have more doubt that Tech is dead. And I'm hoping, I'm holding out that he's alive. So, I'll say, I'll just say I have a little doubt. But not a lot of doubt. I have more doubt for Tech. Calvin. I have no doubt. No doubt. You son of a... No doubt. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch. These episodes, if you didn't, make sure you check them out for that one we did before because we released two videos today. Uh, we also have deep dive into this entire season. There's also a video on this channel of Aaron and I. Uh, quit! Don't know what you're doing! I don't know. I have no doubt! <laughs> <laughs>